Hi guys, Joe back from Vapelander Juices and the Flavor Junkies. Um, today we're going to go over how I re-wick or wick my RDAs. Um, this technique can be used for vertical coils or your typical um, horizontal coils. Um, doesn't really matter. The main thing you need to take from this is the cotton prep, how you fish it through and all that good stuff. Um, so today we are going to be using good old organic cotton balls. I also here have some strip of rayon, um, which can be used as well. It is cotton, it is hype, uh, very hyped up right now, and I do like it for certain RDAs, better than organic cotton. But for the most part, I prefer organic cotton. Um, what else will we need? We will need a good syringe tip or, you know, a drill bit or something you can use to uh, work the cotton around once you've got it pulled through. You also need a good pair of tweezers. Uh, aside from that, you'll obviously need an RDA. Uh, here's a different one that I just showed you. This is my Veritas with one vertical coil. Um, you know, I don't use a lot of cotton in my guys, and I still get a good amount of vapor and uh, you know, as many hits as I need out of it. Um, but before we cut to the close-up videos, you know, one reason I'm doing this video is I see people posting stuff all the time about pictures and videos of what their coils and wicks look like, and I just see a lot of people uh, making mistakes and stuff, so I thought I would just share my opinion on how to wick my RDA. It doesn't mean I'm right, doesn't mean I'm wrong, it just means it's working well for me. Maybe you want to try it, maybe you don't. Uh, anyway, I'll be vaping my favorite uh, vanilla custard right now, Cyclops Vapor Colossus. Uh, anyway, we're going to cut to the close-ups, and I'll catch up with you guys in just a second. Alright guys, welcome back to the close-ups. Alright, let's get this party started. Alright, so, um, first thing we want to do is we are going to be re-wicking something like this. Uh, so, first let's start with our cotton ball. We want to get our cotton ball to where it is actually looking like rayon comes with all the fibers running north and south. That is the way the juice will draw up the most efficiently. Okay, so it's in a ball. It's obviously not like that yet, but it's close. So you'll find where the cotton ball starts. And unroll it the best you can. Sometimes the cotton will be more cooperative than other times, uh, but you can do it no matter what. Right. So, we've got a strip here. Uh, what we want to do is pick a usable section, cut off the excess that we're not going to be working with. Alright, so what we have now is a little section. You will see bumps and imperfections in the cotton not running the same way. What you want to do is gently rub your fingers down, trying to organize the cotton, get it going in the same way. And while you do that, you will lose some. And that's what you want. Okay? So, flip it over, do the same thing. Get it how you want it. And once you do that, you will start to feel the cotton being less bumpy and totally smooth. And you want it to be the same density and thickness throughout. Um, that's very important. Um, so what I like to do uh, is get it to about here. And what I do and I cut it equally in half. There's your two coils right there. Alright, so you have this to start with. Again, pull the cotton gently on one end, removing the lumps in excess. Okay. Now it's very smooth, kind of like a, a cigarette filter um, in a way. And uh, once you get it there, now you need to evaluate how thick you're going to need it. I'll just pull these coils out. So I 
can use this one as a demonstration. Alright. Make sure your coils are equally firing um, before you fish it through. Mine is not. So I will simply give the side that is not a quick squeeze. to get them where we want them. That's what you want. Them both lighten up at the same time. Don't stick your dry cotton through there when it's hot. Um, back to the cotton prep. Okay, so as you can see, <laughs> it is much thicker than the coil. So you're going to want to remove some of this, but not much. You want it to look thicker than the coil, maybe twice as thick as the coil. Um, about like that, maybe just a hair less. Um, but you want it to look bigger, for sure, than the coil in diameter. And then what you will do is you will take one hand to twirl it, one hand to kind of just gently squeeze together. And what you're doing is you're organizing the cotton and getting them all spiraling ever so slightly. But you don't want to make it rope. You're doing this very, very gently. Once you get down here, all you want to do is just twist the loose hairs at the end into a little point. You don't want to be twisting this part. You just want to be twisting the extra, kind of like a doobie or a joint. And come over here, do the same thing. Make sure you're spinning it the same way when you flip it over. Otherwise, you will undo what you did on the other side. Uh, and then you just want to feel it. Make sure it is uniform, no bumps, no mess. Once you got it where you want it, you want a little bit of a tail, but not much, uh, because that tail is all you're going to be fishing it through with. Alright, pick the appropriate side. Grab it. And as you can see, <laughs> it doesn't look like it's going to fit through there. But since the cotton hasn't been twirled to death and um, made into rope like I used to do, it will fish through. You may need to work with it just a hair. Um, pulling it through, messing with it on the other end. You'll start to get a tension spot you like where it feels not tight but not loose. And then this part is very important. You want to fish it back and forth. And it will look the same on both ends of the coil. Not only are you fluffing up the cotton on this end and this end, you're fluffing up the cotton underneath the coil. Okay, now you're looking good. Alright, let's take our other one. Alright, so knowing what I know, we're going to need to remove about yay. And maybe even a little more, but some will come off just from doing the same prep you did last time. Spin, gently holding on one end. See, I'm, I'm barely putting any pressure on this end. I'm simply just twirling it. It's real easy. Same thing over here, guys. Okay, what I'm noticing is I got a little too much. Not much. Just a little. So then you gotta start over. But that's what you want. You wanna get it to where both sides have equal thickness and density. Otherwise, one coil will be more efficient than the other, and one side will dry out quicker than the other. And you don't want that. And as you can see, they're starting to look identical, which is what you want. Alright, continuing right along, come over to the other side, same thing, just twist the extra twirlies, but not the actual coil, and then continue to squeeze and turn, and what you're left with, once again, is a cotton doobie. That's what it's going to look like, doesn't look like much, but that's what you want. Come over. that end, clip off half this end, fish it through, pull it, wait to that tension, there's the tension right there, gently caress back and forth, and bam, you are to where you can cut the cut. Now what I like to do is cut it just past the edge. You know, hold the scissors up and then move it out just a hair. Don't forget to mention, forget to mention, 
Alright. Now we're looking where we want to look. It's uh, about what you got right there, guys. And next, you take your trusty bottle of e liquid. I think I'm going to switch it up on you guys from what I did earlier in the video and do a little Suicide Bunny's Mother's Milk. Damn good juice. And you're going to saturate the cotton so you can shape it how you want. Give it a nice hefty dose, let it soak in. Maybe do it the same again on the other side. And as you do that, you will notice the cotton gets wet and starts to look a little bit longer over the edge. If that happens, that's okay. Um, next what we do, or I do, I use my syringe needle and I push, I flatten it, running the juice to the edge of the cotton, making sure it's all wet and easy to work with. Alright, that's what we're looking like now, guys. Uh, next, what I like to do is make little tents, so to speak, I guess, out of it. But I want them pushed all the way up to the edge of the deck. And with this one, I will just simply take it, flip it under, push it up. Get it where I like it. That's looking good. Same thing over here, but I'm liking, I'm seeing that this is a little too long for my taste, so I'll come and cut a little more off. Don't be afraid. Cut away. Make another little tint. This one's a little too long too. So, just get our trusty scissors, clip just a hair, take it, swoop it underneath, push it back up against the deck. So what you're doing, making little tents or canopies, so to speak, out of the coils. The, the airflow goes underneath and up on both sides of the coil. That's what you want. Um, next, <laughs> you want to dry fire it a few times. Get some of that nasty cotton taste out. Um, come back, reapply. Cotton will expand out quite a bit. And uh, you can actually just take it, since you've got that juice well, cram it under there like that. Now you've got juice on the cotton and wick and underneath in the well, um, which will allow you to you know, have 20 or 30 poles worth of e-liquid stored in this. This is a still air, um, but what really works well um, with these types of setups are vertical coils. Um, like here's my tobe. I have them basically just fished through the coils and these vertical ones and strawing down into the well, not putting a lot of cotton. Um, and that works well because the juice goes straight up to the coil when the heat hits it, heat rises. And since all your fibers are running north and south, you know, the fastest way to one point is a straight line. You've now got your stuff in a straight line. Um, this Veritas, same deal. One coil strawn straight down into the juice well. Um, nothing else. No cotton on the sides. Nowhere, anywhere. The one we just built, um, that's the vertical, or the non-vertical, the horizontal build. It really works well with that. Um, since it's got juice being drawn from both ends, uh, since the cotton is running uniformly, it straws it up evenly to the coil. And your coils, if done right, should dry out at the same time. And not only that, but give you fantastic flavor and even better vapor. Let's give her a puff. Alright, see you back in the close-ups. Alright guys, thanks for watching. That's how I wick my coils. Doesn't mean uh, it's the right way or the wrong way, it just means it's my way. Um, I'm sure a lot of people do it that way. Um, thanks for watching. Flavor Junkies, love you guys. Um, look for Vape Lander Juice coming out in the next couple of weeks, guys. Take care and have a good day.